Oh boy, GTA San Andreas, released in 2004 and one of the most popular GTAs to ever exist. Well, you guys know the news. The definitive edition has been released including GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas. Now the footage in the background is the definitive edition of San Andreas. Now the main reason I even started or even wanted to make this video was because of this stupid glitch with the purple light. Now before I get any further. I'm going to explain what this video is going to be about. So I'm assuming if you're an OG GTA San Andreas fan, you guys remember all of the original and kind of creepy myth hunting videos that used to exist on YouTube and still do to this day. Now the purple light kind of reminded me of that and all the spooky and scary myths that were, you know, supposedly in GTA San Andreas. Now this had me thinking, the definitive edition of San Andreas was less creepy compared to the original San Andreas. Now what I mean by that is the environment felt, well, a little bit more alive, and it didn't feel as ominous and creepy as the, well, original GTA San Andreas game did. Now as you can see in this footage here, the game just feels very claustrophobic, like the fog and the draw distance makes it feel as if you are alone. and. The photorealistic pictures such as of the moon and of the character models and of other things kind of gives the game a very very weird and unsettling feel to it. Or as I would like to call it, a very uncanny valley sort of feel. And it kind of reminds me of, well, the topic we're going to be talking about today, liminal spaces. Now for people that don't know what a liminal space are, well, I'll give you a quick definition. Basically it is an aesthetic or a location which is a transition between two other locations or states of being. Typically these are abandoned or oftentimes empty. For an example, a mall at 4am or a school hallway during summertime for an example. This makes it feel frozen and slightly unsettling but also very familiar to our minds. Now the pictures I'm about to show on screen might cause derealization or depression. Now, although these images represent transition and transformation, liminal spaces are not viewed positively because they represent one of humanity's oldest fears, the fear of the unknown. And for that reason, many people feel a sense of dread or anxiety within these spaces, although they might not always understand why. And one of the most popular examples of liminal spaces are the back rooms. They originated from, I'm pretty sure, Gary's mod in the Half-Life games where you would no clip out of the game into these very weird and unsettling back rooms. Now that I got you settled in, and now that you guys know the definition of liminal spaces, <laughs> let's get right into this video. Now, I got this video idea from a Reddit post posted five months ago from a redacted user. The title goes, GTA San Andreas has such a creepy atmosphere that even most horror games can't pull off. And I would like to agree with it 100%. But why does it? Is it because of all the urban legends and myths surrounding the game, the overall aesthetic, or just the way the game looks? Now, it could be a combination of all of these reasons, but I'm gonna dive in to the main reason, the graphics. Now for 2004, this game was phenomenal. A crazy open world setting with three main cities and well, it was the best installment in GTA history. This game was the first game to introduce wildlife and basically open areas that were not part of a city, aka the back roads, the countryside, the desert. Now, fans went crazy with this, as you guys could see with all the creepy myths made about them. and. Well, the game did just give it an overall vibe that made it feel very, very creepy. The way the fog rolls in and lowers your draw distance view, you can't see anything in front of you, so you better pray to God there isn't anything lurking in the forest, and you better watch your back 
because you don't know what could be hiding behind the trees and shrubbery that you just walked past. Now, this was terrifying for me when I was younger. This game basically made me love horror. I used to love horror movies and tons of stuff before it, but the way I could actually interact with all of these horror elements in this game, it was a dream come true for me. I remember when I first stumbled upon the ghost cars. Me and my buddy were playing split screen two player, and we were driving in a quad runner, and we head into the back or beyond, going to do some myth hunting as well everyone did back in the day and well the rest is history we saw two cars driving by themselves and I remember I screamed so hard I began to cry I have found one of the legendary myths and legends in GTA San Andreas it was terrifying and it was a brutal realization for me that there is creepy and terrifying stuff hidden in this huge open world game. Now these are the main reasons I am making this video. The crazy experiences and atmosphere that GTA San Andreas brought are missing in the definitive edition. The game does not feel like how the original GTA San Andreas game did. Now in the footage playing, I stopped the clock at midnight with a cheat that kept it there and also activated the fog, which was originally in GTA San Andreas. And the game just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't feel as claustrophobic or uncanny valley. And the main reason because of that is because of the graphics. The game looks more polished and it looks more finished. It is new and it's what we're used to. And the original is old and out of touch. It's not what we're used to seeing. The real life images plastered onto NPCs and pictures and walls, floors, grounds, skies, and cars is not what we're used to seeing nowadays. Now, these are all the reasons in my opinion on why this game feels so creepy and alone and makes it feel uncanny valley. Now, all of those are very valid reasons on why this game has such an unsettling and creepy atmosphere to it. Now, yes, the graphics and all the other things previously mentioned make this game terrifying, but there is one thing that I have been forgetting to mention, and well, that's the fear of being alone. Autophobia. What is autophobia, you might be asking? Well, it is a form of anxiety that can cause a minor to extreme feeling of danger or fear when alone. There is not a specific treatment to cure autophobia as it affects each person differently. Most sufferers are treated with psychotherapy in which the amount of time that they are alone is slowly increased. Now, the footage behind me is showing footage of the infamous ghost town located in the desert in GTA San Andreas. I think it is very fitting on the topic of autophobia. Now this circles back to liminal spaces. Liminal spaces are alone. There is nothing and no one in sight. But you get that extreme and overwhelming feeling that you are being followed or watched or that you're not even alone at all. Now GTA San Andreas very much well brings the same feeling and it does it at a very heightened rate. Now this might only go for a very specific audience of GTA San Andreas players, but just hear me out real quick. Imagine this, you're at a younger age, very naive and very gullible, and you see a video on YouTube titled GTA San Andreas Finding Bigfoot. You click on the video and it's footage of Bigfoot in GTA San Andreas. You are astonished that somebody found something like this in one of your favorite video games. So you decide to start exploring the forest where this video was well taken place at. You explore and there's nothing there, but you think Bigfoot exists and since you believe that Bigfoot exists, you think he is in the woods. So you feel like you're not alone, but there's no one in the woods, so you are. 
Now, this was the feeling that I personally experienced and I hope many of you guys also experienced because it was very unsettling to feel and very overwhelming. You are in these woods where no one's at, but you just saw a video of Bigfoot in these woods. And now you can't get the feeling of being alone, but feeling watched or followed. And well, I'm assuming you guys feel this exact feeling while playing the game. Now, whether you like to believe the game is creepy because of the graphics, the myths and legends behind it, the fear of being alone, or any of the other reasons I have previously mentioned, comment down below or if you even have your own reasonings on why, also comment that down below. I find this stuff very interesting. I love creepy media, primarily video games, and I love covering them. So if you guys have any ideas for any other creepy things in video games that I should well make and record and make a video on, please tell me in the comments as well because I love making videos for you guys and I like making creepy content, primarily GTA, but I like both. So if I can combine both of them, I totally will. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it kind of got cut off at the end a little bit and it was a little abrupt, but those are the main reasons. That is why GTA is creepy and why the atmosphere feels so liminal and uncanny valley. I hope you guys have a great day and, well, be careful out there in GTA San Andreas because, well, you don't know what's hiding.